watch the field behind the plow Turn to straight dark rows Feel the trickle in your clothes Blow the dust cakes from your nose Hear the tractor steady roll No, you can't stop now With a quarter section more or less to go Hey guys, we're here back with Wise Tractor Sales We're here at the Missouri State Fair This is uh, day one and day two video Today is August 11th uh, So the second day of the fair uh, Today we've got uh, clips of the opening day parade from yesterday and we're going to have a uh, part of the Farnham Family Show as well as part of the Cowboy Mounted Shootout um, here at the fair. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey, how are you, buddy? Hi, Brad. How are you? Thank <laughs> you.
Hey guys, we're here at the Farm Toy Show at the Missouri State Fair. Um, I believe this will be an addition to our day one slash day two video. Um, so we're here uh, looking at pedal tractors and all these uh, wonderful toys um, that you can see behind us. There's a ton of stuff. We're going to talk to a few, a few of the vendors, um, the toy guys, and let them show us what toys they have um, and what they do slash what they did so uh, yeah okay guys we're here with uh, what I call the pedal tractor guy so he's gonna tell us who he is what he does and show us some of his pedal tractors and toys thank you my name is Matt Gaskell I'm from Otterville Missouri of course and uh, collect buy sell trade pedal tractors used to collect in the 90s got out when my boys was in the four-wheelers and then got back in because we got nine grandchildren so uh, I enjoy taking pedal tractors, restoring them, and bringing them back to life so kids can ride them or people can collect them. Uh, like this International here, I added a wide front to it, put the fenders on it, custom front tires, the fat tires on the back, and just kind of made it something different. Um, there's a lot of different pedal tractors out there, all different kinds of price ranges, but it's good to see kids today still playing with something that's been around since 1950. But uh, there's 
a lot of different brands. They named them after all the major manufacturers. So, you know, Alice Chalmers had them, Case, John Deere, of course, Farmall, um, Oliver. My favorites are Oliver, but that's just my, my flavor. We deal with plenty of Olivers. <laughs> yeah, yep, like them a lot. But, and then like there's some other ones I custom, customized, like these cases I made it into a, a Black Knight demonstrator and then a Spirit of 76. Um, it's just fun to take a tractor and make it something that they never made before. And even some of them are combines, like this one back here. Yeah, the combines are kind of neat. When they made the combine, they really weren't very popular, and uh, now they've really become a good collector piece. And uh, this is one that a gentleman made the cast wheels for. They don't necessarily go with that Arab tractor, but they still look kind of neat just because the gentleman added his touch to it. Yeah, sure. But, uh, they got them with dual wheels on the back. That was the Prestige series they came out with. It's just, it's a fun hobby and there's something to do. So out of all your pedal tractors you have here, which one is your favorite? Ooh. <laughs> Honestly, probably these, because they're hard to make. You've got a plasma cut pieces out to put the wide front on. you got to weld pieces on the inside to make the, and then make the steering rod. So. This was probably my favorite just because my wife tapes them off so I can get the two-tone paint. It's just difficult to make, but there's a lot of custom pieces on it that make it neat. So this is probably my favorite. And then the little purple Oliver because we gave one to a granddaughter. And she really likes it. And, uh, so that one's kind of neat. Well, for sure. And I appreciate you being on our channel. Yep. And I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your time here. Thank Missouri you. State Fair Toy Show. Take care. So, uh, <laughs> Stephen Ponsing, retired from USDA, just do toys here on the side. So then we also have a toy show at Saline County at Marshall, Missouri. We usually have it in January. We've got a 420 here with a wide front row guard canopy. And we need a side console one. It's got your PTO lever over here. Uh, probably some of the other interesting ones. You got a pink tracker painted pink. That's for breast cancer awareness. Uh, this is a narrow front. It's got the short fuel filters. And it's got the generator. This one's got the long fuel filters on it. And I think it's got the alternator. So and this had duels put on it. Scotty's Farm Toys, and he's going to talk about uh, some of his toys. Uh, I'm Danny Angotti uh, from Wardell, Missouri. I live down in the Boot Hill, 27 miles from the Arkansas line, and 35 miles from crossing a river to go to Tennessee. And we have been doing this for about 35 years. And basically what we do, we started off with doing custom tractors and stuff. We take the tractors and then we'll turn around and put different tires and combinations and stuff on them. Some we put quick hitches on. Then we started, got into doing some of the trailers, service trailers and service semis. There's two or three semi people that sell semis and they give me the trailers and then I, I fix what whatever I want to put on them. They give me a, a amount of money for each trailer and that's I stay within that with labor and everything. Then we got some pieces that we have uh, custom made. We got a stacker bar planter and then we've got a double rice plow, rollers, and just different kinds of planters and thing combinations. Barbecue grill back here. Yeah, we got a barbecue <laughs> grill. Uh, the uh, truck thing has kind of opened up with the uh, green light coming out with different kinds of trucks and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we get a lot of the green light trucks, which are right here. These will come with the flatbeds, and then we just add different combinations of parts and make them into different kinds of trailers and stuff. Here's a couple, another couple of service trailers. And then we decided, I decided I wanted to have a parts business. 
which may be the downfall of me yet, but we have a lot of casted parts here that we get from two or three different people. And then uh, we also have uh, 3D parts here around the corner. We sell the package stuff too. And then we have these 3D parts that do. I have four different, five different guys that do this that makes these parts for me. I'm not much of a 3D equipment person, and I like the parts so you can have your stuff for your shop, your truck, and stuff. Yeah, that's really neat. Not everybody can do that. Yeah, well, in fact, I'll tell you, one of these guys that does this is a 14-year-old kid. Really? Yeah. And let me tell you, he's pretty sharp. He's a whole lot sharper than I am, which you can see up here. Uh, a lot of different ones. You know, we get stuff from, we just, uh, we have the, a wholesale dealership with them. And we, we buy from them, then we turn around and resell. So we offer the package stuff. And then, this is really not part of Ain't Got His Farm Toys, but my wife down on the end, has all the women world stuff. She has uh, a lot of uh, agricultural tractor material and stuff and pillows and stuff. So that's pretty much her end of the deal. So that's about it. Other than, you know, like we've been doing this for about 35 years. So my son was seven years old when we started. We built a miniature farm. It's three and a half sheets. So. I've still got it, so. That's pretty neat. Yeah, but, and you know, we. It, I told there was a newspaper reporter here yesterday, and you know, I told him, you know, all of these people we see, you know, we may see Travis over a couple of times a year, we see Wayne over here three or four times a year. I have a show at Saxton, Missouri, the second weekend in December, and I have about 22 dealers. And we're just an all, just a real big, family really yeah we had a show at evansville june the 9th well june the 9th this year just happened to be our 50th wedding anniversary <laughs> i did not send that contract in my wife did <laughs> but our kids came over and surprised us and uh, all of us all of them, the biggest well probably pretty much all the dealers in the family we all went out and eat so you know those are special things that you remember so and it's about like the rest of the agriculture industry. Yeah. Everybody is very tight-knit. And, you know, we come here and I see these kids that start off down here and now they're up here. Yeah. In fact, there's one that come today and he asked me, he said, do you remember me? And I said, and I looked at him, I said, you know, a while ago when I looked at you, I thought you looked familiar. But I said, it just didn't ring a bell. Well, he finally told me he usually had a buddy with him. And if he'd been with him, I might have picked him up. So we've seen a lot of kids grow up, made a lot of good good friendships. I know I've grown up just like all the rest of the yeah. kids, and I've been in here buying from somebody here at the State Fair every year. Yep, it's, uh, I just wish we didn't have to stay here till 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> old people need their beauty rest. And if you look at me, you can tell I need a lot of it, so. Yeah. So that's so, about it. Well, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you talking to us. All right. Yeah, anything to help help people out. That's what we're here for. We're here at the toy show again, and this is what I call the quilt lady. Uh, she's always got all these beautiful quilts and all these um, all this towels and stuff. So we're gonna um, let her talk about it and tell us a little bit about what she does. Well, I have an embroidery machine. I sew towels, I sew tea towels, hand towels. I also do quilts. I hand uh, quilt the quilts. I don't like to do any kind of machine on the quilts. I do a lot of sewing. I have placemats, hot pads, pillowcases, aprons. And my husband does toys, and uh, we both grew up on farms, and we decided that we needed to do something to give back for his, his training and my training as well. I grew up on dairy farm, 
without any brothers and he grew up with his brother and his dad and mom both worked in town and so both of us was left to do a lot of the farming so we decided to give back. My husband was a welding teacher and a vocational education teacher at Nichols Career Center for 28 years and between the extra projects and extra curricular things that he did we got into doing farm toys and uh, my husband wanted to do something with the toys and the education to give back and make sure that the younger generation understands what it's like for farming and keeps at it so we're very big supporters of ffa vocational education of any kind and agricultural training this is a hand quilted quilt and it's called the farmer's prayer and on it it's got the farmer prayer it also has different panels on there that talk about life on the farm how it's better for everybody on the farm it talks about feeding your soul it talks about the family and how love grace forgiveness and trust is all part of it it also has on there the best memories are made on a dirt road and only a few of us understand that part but it i've made several of these and every one of them the people that buy them almost sit and cry as we're reading so it really hits home what it means to have somebody up above to help us all the way through yeah that is for sure that's a very very neat quilt Anything else you'd like to show us? Well, I have um, a lot of different items. Um, you have to have something for the babies, of as course. well as for the little and big sisters. You have to have something that talks about the farm and what it means, and family farm, faith is important. Um, you have oh, no, to have. I love this one. I was gonna say you have to have a sense of humor on some of these, <laughs> um, simply because people just really need a laugh every once yep. in a while. And here's one of my favorites, and I just found that and worked on that the other day, and. It basically goes with the quilt, the Farmer's Prayer quilt. Uh, but you also have to remember important stuff like family <laughs> and Nano's rules and what that really means. My grandkids are now 16 and 14, but they still know what grandma's rules mean. Uh, these are some of the towels that we've got. Uh, I have an embroidery machine, and if I didn't have a wonderful mechanic, it wouldn't keep going. But <laughs> let's hold this one up. And anybody that farms understands that more than oh, yeah. you can imagine. So I have to sometimes just sit back and do a few sports items in here, also. Yes, you do. And here's another one of my favorites. This one says a lot. And then we have my husband's area. And he's got the corn stuff, the tractor stuff, and the toys. lot about farming it's kind of amazing how the kids come back and tell you what all the equipment is mm -hmm. and some of them I I didn't even 
know what it was myself. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Um, make sure to check out our other videos at the Missouri State Fair. Um, we'll have those um, in the, at the end of this video. So make sure to go ahead and check those out also. Thanks again for watching. God bless.